Hit the thumbs up if you like our video. And be sure to subscribe so you can stay tuned for all our adventures. Hi. Hi. So we came across this castle on our way back from Sardinia. We figured we'd stop in and make an impromptu dragon quest. We're in Rotland Castle, just outside of Basel. In, the, in 1147, the noblemen of this castle were called to the Second Crusade by Conrad III. And then they weren't heard from again until almost a hundred years later. And legends suggest that when they were in the Far East fighting in the Crusades, they picked up some uh, dragon warfare experience and they may have brought that back with them and had dragons here on the premises. So we're gonna pop in and take a look and see what we can find. You ready? Yeah. Wow, what do you see? Oh, you see cracks? Oh yeah, they sure are. So, in 1277, there's a document that was found that says that an innkeeper who used to live in this area, that he used to invite travelers to come see the fire beast, and that he was later punished by the lord of this castle for inviting people to see the fire beast. So that's pretty solid evidence that there may have been a dragon here that was used in this castle for warfare. I wonder what happened here. It looks like perhaps the wall collapsed. Yeah. Let's grab a stone and analyze it. Okay. Look at even more evidence. Yep. Interesting. Interesting that this would have a dragon. And these individuals in the picture mm -hmm. looked like they might have been from the Far East. Good find, Ireland. Good yeah. find. Thanks. I found a cool. And treasure. You know, dragons love their treasure. What about that school right there? <gasps> that looks like, oh my goodness, what is that? Like a baby school of a dragon. Oh, that looks so cool. There's the family colors. Headsmen, swords, halberds, maces, hammers, the violin, all sorts of weaponry. Very few castles remain with a defensive structure so well preserved, which begs the question why was this castle so well built? To keep something out? or to keep something in. There do just seem to be some soot marks here. Here. And then, do those look like claw marks right there? Yeah. You see them? Hey, poke around over there and see what you can come up with. Hey, go see out, what you can see out that window. gentlemen we have found a dragon eye ring this is huge we definitely have to take this and get analyzed yes. this is huge this is by far our best discovery yeah. this area here is strangely wide normally there wouldn't be so much distance between the outer wall in the keep. It's almost as if something was needed to land here or walk about freely in through here. Very, very weird. Did they go up? Yeah. It's in here.
See this stone here with these holes in it? This is said to have happened because the heat behind here was so intense that it would start to push the other little stones out. And you know what would do that? Dragon fire. This castle and this whole area were under the fealty of the Bishop of Basel. And he was well known to have been into studying and using dragons for warfare. So it's no surprise that this castle has all the hallmarks of one that would house a dragon. This unplanned stop ended up being a gold mine. We were able to uncover many clues, such as the miniature dragon skull, massive amounts of treasure, and a possible treasure room. We also found a larger than normal bailey and the signature pot marks all along many of the walls. When we add in the stories and legends, it seems as though Rotland Castle was certainly a castle with significant dragon activity. Be sure to stay tuned for more of our adventures on Dragon Quest.